Right, right. Hold it there. Perfect. Ooh. Go on, I'll go there. Okay, we check that with the Leica level uh, laser med. It'd be beautiful, that. I'll tell you why, it'd be really nice, wouldn't it? Because if you put a sacrificial piece up there, with some things in it, Next block, block, yeah, which is like yeah. carrying it. Yeah, a little leather. And um, it'd be great. What a lovely idea. Yeah, so we need to pull, pull, pull the back wall through and, the side yeah. and that other half on the other side. That'd be monster, wouldn't it? First cut is the deepest. Next to the saw, there's the little square with four wheels on it. Put your wrench right down first, let Roger's edge come down second. Take your hands out of the way. Take yours off, Al. Okay, I'm going down. Okay, we just hold it here. Alright, now put it out onto your bearer. Okay, Rog? Perfect, it's perfect. No, no, we're rolling it, we're tearing it. Slide it on the RSB, now we're going to just ease it. We're going to tip it and ease it. So we have got half of the panels in of this build, of this garden room. And we're at a point now where we've got to get our glue lamb ridge up into position. Now there's a number of ways of doing this. We could put all of the panels round, try to go up over the front and up the side. But because of the, top, the beam is a lot stronger standing up like a ridge, as soon as you lay it down and slide it, it's going to deflect a little bit. I've just checked the deflection of this beam and from end to end, even though it's nearly 10 meters long, we're only deflecting that much. So what I'm gonna do is I've just positioned a couple of studs. They're hard against the end of that panel, which is effectively the center of the ridge. And what we're gonna do is we've drilled through at 400 mil centers for 12 mil bar. We're gonna get the beam into the bottom in the right position. We'll space these studs apart and brace them really well so they're like a ladder effectively. We'll lift one end. We're only lifting 400 millimeters at a time push in a rod, carefully go to the other end and raise it 400. So basically, we know we can handle the beam in terms of the weight and the bodies that we've got, but this is the safest way. It's like a ladder and we're just putting a peg through, lifting, putting a peg through. And so that's our experiment and we're gonna go for it now. Now, all I'm gonna do is um, ease it to me. If you go to the other end, ease it to me because I can't sw swing at the minute because of those frames. Lift, that's it, mate. Perfect, now all I've got to do now is we're just going to ease it around all right so i'm going to pivot it like this and then rock it round and rock it round it's it's a piece of cake it looks heavy but it's really not now what i'm going to do now med 
is you can do that, yeah, right the way across now, but on the flat. Yeah, yeah, no. Well, you can carefully, I'll leave my end on the ground. Like that. Like this. I'll get the beat somewhere near up there, yeah? That's it, it's under. That's it. Yeah. Uh, right, now, ready? Give it a little tiny roll, right, maybe. Just watch those. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Take it in a touch more. A bit more. Just so it's in a bit. Yeah. So I'm taking off the other half of my ladder string, or my stud if you like here, which has been piloted through all nice and level. Take that off, push the beam against set that back up and brace it up well so it's a ladder effectively and it'll be supported by the frame behind and then we're going to raise it a little bit at a time like gentlemen <laughs> Tadly more that's it seven fifty and two hundred seven fifty and two hundred I'll leave you to set the top block, all right, Louis? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, back to you. That's it, boys. It's iron fault. No, it's basically nah, because it's not nah, It's an inch more. That's a lot. Relax. That's just about the limit of our lift. Yeah, alright, because yeah. we can probably just pump that up now. Oh, yeah. So rude. It's a nice little hack, this, isn't it? It Richard? is a great hack. Yeah? It's, uh, the way that Stonehenge was built, we're reliably informed. Yeah. By the architect. Yeah, no, it's Just good. I mean, anything that saves you having a grunt and getting cranes in and all the rest of it, this would have been a difficult place to get a crane in anyway. And uh, not to mention the expense when he can get monkeys like us to do it for two bob. It's much better. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm going to walk along there. You know oh, that, that works there, well, Okay. Robin. Yes, sir. Do you have a name for this process? Yeah, it's the um, RMC Mark One. <laughs> okay, I'll no, ask you what it stands for thing, later. You've just got to think on the job, haven't you? You've just got to think, right, yeah. safest way. Um, there's no way this can fall out. I've done the deflection test. The beam can take the span without the load in the middle. So as soon as the beam's up, we'll get a wall underneath the middle and it'll be perfect. Brilliant. Tell me when you're ready. Yeah, ready. One, two, three. Yeah. A tiny bit more. And relax. That's it. Good, isn't it? 
a lot of sound reflection in the there. That's slightly good. Bang on! <laughs> Brilliant. Just going to go and get a spacer. Might swim around a bit. Might swim like three. Relax down. That's the reef. That's it. Alright, that's in the bearing now. I think we're going to do the same here. Yeah. Sorry. Red stick, baby. Two, three, lift. Relax. It's in. We sold on eBay now. Just have a look underneath those sweet stones under there. Yeah, yeah. Hard, ready? Yeah. And then the top. 